In many Zelda games, Hyrule is a rich, prosperous, and powerful kingdom. However, in Breath of the Wild, it's a quite different story. We see destruction, evil, and corruption have taken over. However, there is still a breath of hope in the air. My name is Yuri of Wind, and in this video, me and Jesse will be analyzing everything we know about Breath of the Wild to find out why Hyrule has been destroyed. We'll be touching on Ganon, the Sacred Realms, Shikai Guardians, and much more, so let's get started. We will need to address how and why Hyrule has been corrupted. So let's begin with the Sheikah. The Sheikah are known to be protectors of the royal family. They are also one of the only tribes we know of to possess magic and advanced technology. We can see an example of both with the Lens of Truth and the new Sheikah Slate. Both of which being technology created by the Sheikah that use magic to function. But what else did the Sheikah create in efforts to protect the royal family? The Guardians. A lot of things hint to this. We see the same blue and orange energy flowing through these mechanical beasts that we see on the Sheikah tablet and the shrines, all of which were created by the Sheikah. These aren't the first set of Guardians created by the Sheikah either. If we remember back to Twilight Princess, we come across more Guardians. However, these versions are quite different as they have a more human look to them but they still share the same name and blue energy. They also seem to have the same job as their name would suggest. They were created to guard something. In Twilight Princess's case, they were guarding the Master Sword and the Temple of Time. However, the Guardians we see in Breath of the Wild seem to have attacked and destroyed the Temple of Time, begging the question of why. Well, the larger Guardians we see outside of the shrines have a distinct pink glow. This glow is the same that can be seen coming from Calamity Ganon. Ganon or Ganondorf possessing or cursing other creatures is something that is common in the Zelda series. In the case of Valvagia, he brought back a creature that had previously been dead for an unknown number of years to do his evil, and he is even fully taking control of Zelda, who possesses a piece of the Triforce, to kill Link. So him taking control of a Guardian could explain why we see advanced Sheikah technology trying to attack Link as opposed to helping him. I believe Ganon tried conquering Hyrule and seeking out the Triforce, and in order to protect the royal family in Hyrule, the Sheikah created these guardians. Ganon began to lose his war on Hyrule, then, realizing his army was no match for the guardians on top of the army of Zoras, Gorons, Hylian Knights, and other races defending Hyrule, he used their own technology against them, and forced the guardians to attack Hyrule. With Hyrule's army defeated, the Hylians likely tried using the Triforce as a final stand against Ganon. We don't know if they were successful or not, but we do know that the Temple of Time, which is a gateway to the Sacred Realm, where the Triforce is held, is completely destroyed. We see several Guardians lying in ruin around the desolated temple. I believe in Ganon's mind, if he believes he would not be able to obtain the Triforce, he would much rather choose to destroy the only way of obtaining the Triforce, rather than have it used against him. Again, we don't know if the Triforce was used or not, but we do know that the Hylians were able to seal him, which we have seen in the past can be done by the Sages. After Ganon was sealed is likely when the remaining Sheikah set out across Hyrule to create the shrines we see, not only as a safe place to escape the evil covering the land of Hyrule, but to await the reincarnation of the true hero chosen by the goddesses. This explains the creation of the Guardians, how Ganondorf was sealed, and the destruction of Hyrule, and especially the Temple of Time. Of course, if you liked the video, a like would be appreciated, as that helps in the YouTube system, and I would like to thank Jesse for having me on. Uh, if you want to watch any of my videos, my channel is Eerie of Wind. I talk about cancelled games, and bootleg games, and other things, and stuff. Take it away, Jesse! Hey, hey Jesse, you there buddy? Well, it looks like Game Over Jesse is a bit preoccupied at the moment, so I'll end it off here. Thank you guys all for watching. This has been a dual post on both Game Over Jesse's and my own channel. You guys all have a good one. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Peace out. If you're a fan of interviews like this or my other discussion and theory videos, please consider becoming a Patreon at patreon.com slash gameoverjesse, where you can help me continue making these videos and get all kinds of awesome stuff at the same time, like co-hosting one of these interviews or joining me on a discussion or theory, suggesting topics for theories, discussions, and interviews, 
suggesting who to have on as guests, and much more.